factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1. For this example, we're going to use the AC method. And you'll see where that name comes from shortly. Uh, we have our quadratic here that we're asked to factor. And even though we would try to factor out the greatest common factor from each one of those three terms, there isn't one. So we are left with a coefficient, leading coefficient greater than 1. So it is written already in descending order, so it's in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And the name ac comes from actually our first step. We are going to multiply the a term with the c term. So a times c is going to be 2 times negative 14 which gives us a negative 28. Now that we have the A and the C multiplied, I'm going to list out the factors that multiply to give us a negative 28, which is the A times C. So I could use a 1 and a 28, those multiply, 2 and 14, or 4 and 7. However, since I need a negative 28, the signs are going to have to be different. So the signs are going to be different and the other key here is that they have to add up to positive 3. They have to add up to that middle term. So if I'm looking for a combination here that has different signs and adds up to a positive 3, I could use a negative 4 and a positive 7. Those two, when multiplied, give us our negative 28, but whenever we add them, they give us the positive 3 that we need for the middle term. Now that we have this, we can rewrite our original quadratic, and I'm going to rewrite it bringing down the 2z squared, but I'm going to replace the 3z with those two numbers. I'm going to replace it with a negative 4z and a positive 7z and I'm going to bring down the minus 14. So I've just replaced the middle term with those two numbers, negative 4z and 7z. Now I can use grouping. Because I have four terms, I can group the first two terms together, and from those two I can factor out a 2z, because they have that in common. And if I did that, I divided each one of these, uh, these terms by 2z, then the 2's would cancel, one of the z's would cancel, leaving me just z in the first term. And in the second term, the z's would cancel, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Now, grouping the second group together, those two terms have a positive 7 in common. So when I factor that out, I'm left with just the z in the first term, because the 7's cancel. And in the second term, I'm left again with a minus 2. And now, since I have two terms, and they both share the z minus 2, I can factor out the z minus 2. And if I remove the z minus 2 from the first term, I have only the 2z left. And if I remove the z minus 2 from the second term, I have just the plus 7 left. So this is our factored expression. Again, we were using the AC method on this one.